Welcome to Market Minute on HBS TV, the only Harvard University channel where you can get the inside scoop on Wall Street. I'm Mia Saini, and here's a look at what shook the markets today, Monday, December 1st. What a beautiful sunny day here in Boston, but markets didn't fare as well during the first full trading day since Thanksgiving. Lots of volatility, S&P 500 down 9%, the Dow down 7.7%, and the Nasdaq down 9% as well. Without a doubt, if you were like most families, it was hard to escape talking about the lackluster economy at the dining table this turkey day. The National Bureau of Economic Research looked to end any confusion as to whether the economy is or isn't in a recession. It declared today that the U.S. economy has been in a recession since December 2007. Factors they examined include GDP, payroll, and employment data. On that note, both Secretary Treasury Hank Paulson and Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke gave two separate talks today regarding the state of the glum economy. Bernanke spoke about how he's open to decreasing the interest rate below 1% and would consider buying more treasuries. Paulson spoke about developing more programs to entice banks to lend. And this morning, President-elect Obama revealed his national security team. One key member is Hillary Clinton for Secretary of State. This is an important nomination because the next Secretary of State will be responsible for helping shape and strengthen foreign policy and build economic trade and financial relationships with places like India and China. And $41 billion was spent by U.S. consumers this holiday weekend. Black Friday kicked off the holiday spending season. Results from the National Retail Federation indicate that an average shopper spent about 7.2% more than last year. Regardless, though, retail stocks like Macy's, JCPenney's, and Aeropostale plunged today as investors became skeptical of the huge discounts that these stores were offering. And that's your quick look on the news that shook Wall Street today. Enjoy the rest of your week.